All right, next up will be the 21.5 uh, USGT combined main. Um, I made a mistake, and it was a stupid one. Um, I put on a brand new set of tires just before this round. Um, I'd been using the same set for two previous races here and in Saturday's practice. And I could feel them even after the second race uh, a couple weeks back um, starting to fall off a little bit. So, But I kept running them because it was running about the same. Um, I threw the new ones on, and it was a mess for the first probably 10 laps. Um, I also think my servo was starting to die. There were two times where it just darted left on me. And it's a feeling I've had before with an off-road buggy where steering just doesn't seem to want to center itself. Um, so I'm going to have to look into that over the next couple of weeks. But um, here's how it went for the combined main. Show the way for the stock tour, guys. Where's John? 12-7. Everyone going faster and faster every lap. Thanks for turning left, Billy, because if you'd have turned right, we'd have heard a big boom. <laughs> That's a good decision. One down, four to go, one down, four to go. Brenton out front for the touring cars. John out front for USGT. Billy Kelly in second for the touring car. Green and white. Brenton down the straightaway in the blue and white. Roger in the silver rocket, looks like. Brenton down the straightaway, clear, sailing in front of me. He hit 11-5 last time by, backs it up at 11-9. Uh -oh. Minute and a half down, three and a half to go. Minute and a half down, three and a half to go. Brenton and Billy with the touring car. John and Roger, the order for USGT. 3.15 to go. There goes your leader across the stripe with an 11-3. Kenneth with the 13.5, Billy with the 13.3, John with the 13.5, Roger up to the lead now in the Vint or the USGT. Roger taking over that spot. On the back straight away he goes. John not too far behind him. Oh, now John's in front of him actually. There's Roger gets that wrong, so John gonna go to the lead. Billy Kelly in the middle of the battle. The leader for touring card on the back straight away. Brent Miller with 11.7. Roger trying to run John down again as they work their way over the left side of the track by the flag on the back straightaway. One touring car in between them, but right now, John with a 13 flat. Roger with a 12 8. Roger runs his high out there, so Roger starting to make up some ground. Up, upside down goes John, so Roger going to take over that spot. John getting a little bit wrong. Roger taking over the lead for USGT. Brent Miller has just checked out continuously running low 11 second laps. Got that car hooked up. Right there, he's been hooked to the corner. He's okay. Ooh. Mr. Kelly with a hard impact. 145 to go. There was 145 to go. Battle back on. Roger under attack from John as they go on to the back straightaway. John looking to the outside, looks to the inside. Roger says, I don't think so. Oh no! Roger throws a hammer down to block him. So they come through the little switchback there, they got together. Roger came out of the better end of that, but there's still a minute and a half to go, plenty of time. Oh no, John with hard impact, getting stuck. He's okay, he lands it rubber side down after it's over with. 115 to go, 115 to go. One minute, one minute, four down, one to go, four down, one to go. Brenton, Billy, and Touring Car, Roger and John, and Vintage, the USGT, I should say. Billy throws on his hot lap right there, 12 8, his fastest lap of the day, or of his heat. Roger gets it wrong, but then he's upside down with 30 seconds to go. 30. Have 
everybody pretty spread out now. Not much of a battle going on anywhere. Race three. Vintage Trans Am is up next. Vintage Trans Am. Less than 10, guys. Less than 10. Brett Miller just checked out. Got that car hooked up. Time is expiring. You come across this track and you are done. John going to come home second in USGT. There's Brent taking the win for touring car. Roger taking the win in USGT. Billy coming home second.